there is a devil loose. I'm just going to be honest with you. People sometimes wonder, well, why did that happen? And where is God? There's a devil loose. And we have been given authority over the enemy. The Bible makes it clear, I believe, uh, in, uh, in the book of Luke, that we have been given power over serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing will by any means hurt you. But we've got to learn how to use that authority. And the scriptures are very clear. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. You're not fighting Ethel or Becky. You, you wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and wicked spirits in heavenly places and rulers of, of, of darkness. And those are spiritual demonic forces that have the assignment to try to come and make your life miserable. So how, what do we do? How do we handle that? Dude, you don't even have to break a sweat. You just have to let them know that when you deal with me, you're dealing with Jesus. Because Jesus moved on the inside of you. And when they see you, they're going to see Jesus. Demons know where Jesus is. And I'm telling you, you take authority right now. For example, I bind the wicked spirits that are operating through this person at work that's giving me a hard time. And I command them to cease in their maneuvers against me. You speak the word. You speak your authority. You let those devils know, I'm not afraid of you, that in the name of Jesus, demons tremble at the sound of that name. And I think sometimes we forget this. You don't accept fear, you accepted Jesus. And when you've accepted Jesus, demons know who you are. You remember the situation in the Bible where they, uh, seven sons of Sceva, and uh, they, they became, they were professional exorcists. They were trying to cast demons out in the name of Paul and in the name of Jesus. But the demons stopped one day and they said, Jesus I know, Paul I know, but who are you? And because they were playing around with this thing, the demons jumped on them and stripped them of their clothes and ran them out the house. <laughs> we don't have to do that, ladies and gentlemen. Demons know you, the devil knows you. Now release that authority. Satan, it'll not happen here. Satan, it's not gonna go on now. I bind you. I take authority over you. You will cease in your maneuvers. And just by doing that, he's already cautious when he comes around you. He ain't coming in your house because he knows you get up and pray all the time and you'll shout a thousand hallelujahs in his head. Use and walk in your spiritual authority. Don't just sit back and let the devil torment your life. Resist him. That means fight against him. Resist him and he will flee. Now his job is to try to get you off your stance but you maintain your stance in the word of God no matter what. Maintain your position in the victory that Jesus died for you to obtain. This is real, but don't just sit back and let it happen. Fight the good fight of faith and lay hold on eternal life. Hey, I hope that helps somebody. Listen, you gotta believe this, no matter where you are, no matter what's going on in your life, everything is gonna be all right.